So here's some of the supplies I'm going to be using. Some uh, six inch screw bolts. Screws. A chain. Some wood screws. Uh, general use latching bolts. Snap hooks. Washers. Metal to metal screws and some larger bolts for the ripping. I'm gonna use this for the ripper. And then that will be to connect the chain to the truck. And my four by fours and a couple two by threes for support braces. I didn't say it was going to be perfect. <laughs> so now I cut a couple of uh, four foot pieces and I'm going to attach the blade to the back of it for the scraper. I'm going to bring it down like a quarter of an inch. So the wood's not hitting the ground, it's more the metal. I have two and a half inch self-drilling screws. So hopefully that'll go through the thick part of this plate. So these are number 14 self-tapping screws and it needs this kind of bit on it. Wow, that torque. 
Heavy. Son of a bitch. Broke the bolt. I don't think that thing's coming off unless the whole Piece of wood splits in five parts. The bolt snapped on the last one, so I put one kind of closer in. But that's the blade part. My next project is to get one of these in. Actually, these are going to be the ripper pieces. So I'm going to pre-drill a hole and just hand screw these in. That's the goal. This is going to be for the ripper. That's right at an inch. man syndrome. One and a quarter inches. I got blood, I got sweat, but I'm not going to add any tears in this one. There's nothing to cry about in carpentry. So I bought all this equipment and some tools and everything and I paid right around, I guess just under $400 and then after I got it all home I was looking through some ads and they were advertising a box scraper that you pull behind your trailer and it cost $379 and I'm all dang. I just spent that much on my tools and equipment and materials to build one. So 
lot of times if you do your research, you actually find it cheaper than you can build it build one for. That's the only way I can get good leverage on it. This one had a knot in the middle of the wood. So it's harder to... Ugh. I broke on through to the other side. Part two complete. We're going to cut the sides three feet long. That's a bush fix right there because I think I broke one of those 
on the inside and it left a little gap so we just braced it We got a 12 foot chain. I think the only thing I have left, I've got the rippers on, I've got the laid on for leveling and I think the only thing left is to put some thirty pretty heavy. I'll probably put a couple supports to put some cinder blocks on so it has more pressure. So here's a version of the box blade that I made. digger bar in the front has seven digger screws let's call it digger screws I don't know what you call it but and then the back plate flattens the ground so that's what it looks like we'll see how it works when we get it out there next week I'm, okay so this is without the weight on top if I have to, I'll put a couple more braces on, or going across the top and then put cinder blocks and strap the cinder blocks to it to make it heavier if you need it. But so far we're going to try it like this and see what happens. Alright, so that's the box blade.